Hey everybody. So we are going to talk about wood burning pet fur today. I have got a portrait that I'm doing for a friend and it's a very light colored dog. It's a yellow lab. So there's not a ton of deep color. I'm going to show you how I wood burn those light colors. So let's get to it. So if you're new here, welcome to the Pyrocrafters channel where we talk about everything wood burning and where I encourage creativity through pyrography art. So if that sounds like your jam, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell if you want to be notified every time I load a new video. Okay, so let's get right to the thing. Um, and the thing in this video would be uh, wood burning some animal fur. Now I do a lot of pet portraits. I get a lot of orders for pet portraits more than anything else. And sometimes, um, you know, I'll get one where the dog is like a really light color. But this is, a, in particular, is a yellow lab. So the, the shades are really light. Let me show you the picture. Um, it's kind of a grainy picture, but that's okay. We can still see all the, the shades in there. And um, I'll just recreate the hair as, as needed, even though you can't really see the details there. Um, but you can see it's very light. There's not a lot of deep shade here. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I do that on the lower heat settings and then just kind of, I mean, there's some spots where I'm not even going to really burn that much. I'm just going to kind of create that texture in the wood. So when you're looking at it, uh, you're going to see all those little hairs in there and all those little details. So let's get right to it. Let's just jump in and start burning this portrait. Okay, you guys, so let's get set up here. So I'm using my True Art burner today. I'm just going to load my flat shader tip. That's this nice flat, like horseshoe shaped tip. When I'm shading animal fur, I spend a lot of time like on the side of the tip and not really on the flat part. You'll notice that in the template, there are a lot of places that all these little shading bits I don't I don't outline those from the template I use my eyes to follow along and recreate the shapes the best I can just using my eyes because when you have those really light spots in the fur uh, the carbon's gonna get in the way you're gonna have to like erase the carbon or you know you're gonna have to use something else maybe graphite or something like that in order to avoid having those spots those carbon copy spots and here we go so again i'm going to use just the edge of my shader tip here i don't need to use the flat part and i can tell from the details in the picture that the hair is going in this direction so th that's the direction in which i'm going to make strokes Kind of comes down here. And creates this. I feel like I need to go up in heat a little bit. Let's go up to 50. Okay. 58. Okay, that's too hot. 53. That's a little better. And this darkness, that's as dark as I want to get. Uh, this is a poplar sheet of wood. I feel like this needs to be a little bit thicker. So let's thicken this ridge up. And he has really short hair. So I'm just creating these little short hair burst marks using the very tip of my burner. And we're just going to go all the way up the head here. And then right about here, it starts to even out. starts to become the same shade. 
gets harder and harder to differentiate in the image the um, light and dark areas. So I'm going to turn it down just very, just a, just a hair of a difference to 49. So now for these this lighter outer edge, and it's it's a pretty drastic difference. I'm just going to barely shade it here. I'm just barely adding color to the wood, but I'm adding these hair marks into the wood. I'm using the same sort of like short, straight motion that's creating these little hair marks. Let's go in for a close up. Okay, so you can see I'm still using the very tip of my pen. I'm just barely burning the wood. And I'm creating these little short hair marks. It's still burning it just a little bit. So you're gonna be able to see the difference between the natural wood and sort of where the edge of the dog starts. But it's gonna be subtle. It's gonna be a very subtle, sort of gradual change. Okay, so now I'm gonna start filling this area. Right here along his eye, he has this little this little spot that kind of comes down. I can see, I did mark these little dimply things here. And I can see that it comes down to about right here. There we go, okay. So, and then this area kind of does this little thing right here. It's a little bit darker. And then right here is really when that, that area of darkness is, okay. So all right here, it has a particular shade. Gets a little bit lighter in this spot, a little bit darker right here, and then it kind of fades out right here. Gets a little bit darker here. So you can see I'm kind of making these little marks on the wood as just sort of a visual barrier of kind of where to stop and start with some of these patches of fur and how, how deeply shaded they are. So I'm just gonna fade out this little area right here. It has that sort of dark area and then it fades and gets really light. So that looks pretty good. And then all along this ridge, it has a darker tone. So we need to look at it in comparison to that other section, make sure it's a tad bit darker.
you guys some here. And this patch, this is a really nice light patch here. So I'm going to start burning this um, super, super light area. And it's the hair is kind of going in this direction. So right here, it has a little bit of a downward kind of thing. And then it starts to curve around like this and kind of goes down. So that's the direction I'm gonna be going. Here we go. I got my heat nice and low. I'm at a 40 right now. So I'm just gonna fade out this little dark spot. And I'm just making the same sort of like straight up and down scribbly motion. Once that's good and faded, I'm just gonna start making these little marks here. You can see they're not very, not very dark. It's not changing the color of the wood that much. Just ever so slightly and creating more of a texture in the wood than it is coloring it with a burn. So you kind of see from this angle a little better how I'm just creating these sort of marks in the wood here. can see in the photo there's like a line here of a separate so I'm just gonna make a little um, so I'm just gonna sketch a little bit of a sort of barrier there so I can kind of see where I'm going everything right here needs to be lighter than this area but darker than this area so I'm gonna have to kind of walk that balance and I'm just gonna keep looking back at the photo and keep checking I'm just adding a little bit of extra color here because it's a little bit darker than what I've got it I'm just gonna fade this line out At this point of this shade, this is so light, it's really more about just making these marks again. You're barely adding any burn to the wood at this point. You're just kind of making these little strokes in the wood. Because when you're up close, you can see them. You can see all these little tiny marks that look like fur in the wood. times you guys that's why this uh these wood burning portraits take so long so we are completely done with this piece so i'm going to go back over it and look at all these light edges here for any remaining carbon marks and remove any marks that i see then i will varnish and it will be completely done Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I hope you got some great tips for burning those light shades of animal fur. 
And if you want to learn more from me, I have a course package on my site where I go really into shading and teach so much more about shading and so many other things about color and varnish and how to use your tips and how to uh, do lettering and different projects and creativity challenges. Uh, so give that a look below. There's a link, you can click that. And if you want to join me every week, I do uh, classes on Creative Fabrica. So give that a look too. All of that links, all of those links are below. Um, all the equipment I used in today's video is below too. So if you wanna check any of that out, give that a look. Thanks you guys for watching. For my channel, welcome to Pyrocrafters, no. Courage creativity through pyrography art. So if that sounds like your jam, subscribe to the channel and don't for click don't for click what for jam subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so you get notified i cannot stress enough how hard it is to just like like i don't understand why my words don't come out right when i'm filming i don't have this much trouble talking in real life so i don't understand <laughs> why I can't say things just because the camera is on. Courage creativity through pyrography art. S that was actually pretty good. So I'm going to just kind of cut that together.